Now, throughout this whole ordeal, Hostway's family has been in close contact with WWT6 News. Tonight, Matthew Smith takes us inside their journey from start to finish, including exclusive sit-down interviews and a look inside the family home with the one miracle the story has uncovered, Baby Angel. <laughs> Stripped down to the core, this reunion, this picture can be summed up in a word love. But what makes this story so remarkable, so confusing is going back. Two days prior to that reunion, little 11 month old angel was found here inside this dumpster in La Vista. Hours later and 10 miles away, his mother, Jesus Marinero, would be found dead. The next evening, her own son, Roberto Martinez Marinero, would turn himself in, confessing he killed his mother. The family tells me it was all about greed and money. They suspect Roberto may have even been the one who burned down the family's home two weeks earlier. It also spurred the search for Jesus's other young son, Josue, a five-year-old boy. Investigators were told he had been thrown into the Elkhorn River. Josue didn't deserve this. No child deserved this. Hay cosas tristes. In an exclusive sit-down interview, the boy's father, Jose Rodriguez, says he's sad. Happy because he has one son here, but sad because he lost his wife and because there's no sign of Josue. The latest big break? Police arrested the confessed killer's girlfriend, Gabriela Guevara. She's been booked as an accessory. Then on Saturday and Sunday, the investigation expanded as crews began searching for something along the road just two miles away from where Roberto claimed he had dumped his little brother. Praying and praying and praying and keeping the hopes that my cousin lying, that he's not there. Ask Jose and it's hard for him to put the words together. <coughs> He shakes his head, almost to think an extra second. When I ask him about Josue and the possibility of finding him alive, he simply says, if he's alive, if he's alive, before trailing off. Meanwhile, family is now turning to a smaller group of friends and family. Jose tells me all he can do is take care of his boy, but there are so many questions. I mean, he's a little boy. He might not remember later on in life, but still it's not fair for him. But at the end of the day, he's loved. Not only for what he is, this bubbly baby boy, but for what he represents, this grieving yet hopeful family. Oh, he's an angel. You, you see him. Miracles. He's a miracle. Tonight we are live at the memorial, the place where Jesus was found dead. You'll notice a few Mother's Day balloons have been added to this memorial site. Uh, it being Mother's Day, I wanted to share something uh, felt appropriate for today, given the day both Angel and Josue actually had their mother's eyes. Uh, neither of those boys will ever celebrate a Mother's Day quite the same ever again. Reporting live with the talk from Nick Bohan, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News. The family has long told WWT 6 News about three people that could be involved and two of those people have already been arrested. We'll stay on top of the story and bring you more developments as they become available.